Okay, let's make a context-free grammar for this language, which is the set of all strings of the form a to the i, b to the j, c to the k, where i is equal to j, which means we have an equal number of a's and b's, or we have an equal number of b's and c's. This language is actually pretty famous because no matter what grammar you make for it, provably, the grammar must be ambiguous. So we're not gonna try to avoid ambiguity here because it's impossible. Okay, so how do we start this? Well, notice that we have two subproblems that are basically equal to each other in some sense. It's just two different equality problems combined with an or in between. Let's solve the two subproblems and then combine them using or. So let's make a variable a i equals j. So this variable is going to handle when the number of a's equals the number of b's. Notice here that the number of c's for this does not matter at all. So we need to spout off as many c's as we need to before we tackle the actual problem of equal a equal b. So notice also that the, the c's need to be generated at the end. So I'm going to recursively call this variable and then spout off a c at the end. And then once we're done, we need to start generating an equal number of a's and b's. And that's pretty easy to do, but we need to transfer to a different variable. So I'm going to call it x1. So x1 is going to make an equal number of a's and b's, and that's all it does. So a, x1, b, or empty. So that's pretty easy. For j equals k, we, need, we can do a similar thing, but we need to generate the a's at the beginning, not the end. So let's do a similar thing to this, but we got to reference this variable and not this one. So little a, capital A, sub j equals k. That's referencing this variable. And then once we're done, we need to switch to a different variable, which makes an equal number of b's and c's. We can't use this one because that involves a's and b's. So I got to use another variable, x2, which is going to spout those off. And that's pretty easy to do because it's just like this one. All right, so that handles j equals k. We have i equals j done. How do we combine them? Using or, because that's what the language asks for. So let's make a variable s, which does this one or this one. a i equals j, or a j equals k. And that is a fairly easy context-free grammar for the set of all strings of the form a to the i, b to the j, c to the k, where i is equal to j, or j equals k.